Hello everybody and welcome to this new video of Arts of Iron 3 with the Black Eyes mode, the first video of my new series, my alternate campaign from Moscow to Madrid. As the name says, the goal of my campaign will be to conquer Europe, to turn Europe red, export communism in Western Europe and if I have time, maybe I will give Japan some attention. I am not playing with the um, standard Hearts of Iron Free Black Eyes 8.5 mod because I have added a couple of uh, events just to add a little bit of immersion and uh, role playing in this campaign. Yes, I have imagined I have suddenly uh, ranked up the ranks of the Red Army and became a famous field marshal of the Soviet Union. Um, <coughs> defensive plan. I will have to defend the motherland from the Axis invaders in 1941 and instead of using my old tactics of falling back behind these rivers, the Dome, the Volga and then trapping the Axis in the steppe and blah blah blah, I will try to use the classic approach so set up a defensive line be behind the Daugava, I think it is, and the Dnieper River. In the meantime, my plan is to build up an army, build up the IC, upgrade the army, deploy the, the, the units and all this kind of stuff. As you can see, I'm crazy because I have eliminated every brigade and every air wing from the order of battle. Why? Because I have scripted a this is an event which will give me a lot of historically existed divisions between 1920 and 1945. They will appear in the production queue. And anything else to say? I think that... Yes, that's all. So, we can start. Uh, espionage focus. Neutrality. Uh, economic boost. I don't know if they can... I don't think I will have enough resources in 1936 to build the uh, state university, so I'll go on with the short investment. Military Academy goes, send troops for Abyssinia. Awesome. Black Eyes, I will play this on hard. Yes, uh, I'm trying to maximize the amount of IC because I will tell you in a, mi in a minute. Uh, all right then. Uh, research efficiency. I uh, see efficiency. Leadership modifier. Mm, or I see leadership. Industrialist and peace activist. So let's. New day is dawning. Hard, 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 very hard. This is my custom decision. So, TO41, TO's defensive plan. On January the 1st, 1936, the newly promoted Field Marshal TO41, five times year of the Soviet Union, was summoned up by Stalin himself to discuss about the strategy to adopt in case, in case of war with the powers of continental Europe. Basically, uh, what I wanted to do here was to fortify these two provinces of Polarsk and Lipil because they are not the f they are plains, so they will invite tanks to blitz here, and also the key province of Kiev, because I will not abandon the Ukrainian capital to the Axis troops. I will gain some uh, instant fortifications at a heavy price, as you can see, and I will suffer for one year uh, malusses in resource production as well as in manpower. Reorganize the Soviet Union. Uh, well, I will activate this later. And now, TO41 takes command. This is the role-playing event. Now I can 
choose uh, three bonuses well one out of three bonuses if I will go into the government I will enjoy a lot of territorial pride uh, espionage um, national revolt risk blah 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 but this is too tempting this is too cheaty I will not choose this I could go in the um, science center this too is tempting because it will give me a 15% of research efficiency but again I will not choose this I will choose instead inspire soldiers and workers to do their best for the Soviet Union this this is <laughs> I mean uh, strange because I don't have any soldier uh, in the army now but I think that in the long range this will be quite useful because of the supply throughput and officer recruitment bonus this will provide to me and as you can see however for every decision I have added uh, the riots modifier for 90 days because as I wrote here not everyone is happy about my quick career through the Red Army ranks so there will be some people unhappy, some unhappy people which will uh, rise against me then uh, as a annual national focus I will choose build up the IC uh, build up the IC wait a minute I just uh, set okay because of the um, building up the, I, the, the, the IC will give me I think one or two heavy industry industries in Moscow or in any other province uh, province which has a level 10 uh, factories the number of heavy industries unless I'm not mistaken depends on the amount of IC I have on the second day so to maximize this amount of IC I will make some changes to the laws to my laws and yes okay so if everything is correct on the second day I should see an increase in the IC available yeah exactly remove yes no tanks uh, Great Depression annual national focus build up the economy which will give me yeah two heavy industries and two manufacturing plants in Moscow I can choose now railway I can go back to the state press and I think it's time now to deploy my production queue okay Stavka yeah here I am with <laughs> wait I just reorganized these troops. Here I am in the staff car, leader of the <laughs> of the Red Army. <laughs> oh dear, uh, that's why it's not uh, delete. Okay. Uh, anything else I can do now? Oh yeah, here yeah. my production queue. As you can see, I have nine thousand and nine hundred things to produce this is just crazy uh, here I have some police centers some I some uh, uh, resource buildings uh, oil rig urban expansion and of course a lot of IC and yes I think I have enough time to show you how I will build up my army so uh, here are some fortifications along the behind every uh, province 
in every province behind the Dnieper and the Dvina River and yeah so here I have infantry divisions here I have more infantry divisions some mountain infantry divisions every division has the standard composition so as you can see I have the divisional a HQ the transport uh, unit which I have translated in Russian as Transportnaya Kolonna which means I think supply train the infantry brigade artillery and tank uh, recon cavalry engineer uh, then in the mountain rifle I have the mountain brigade and light infantry brigade uh, then even more infantry more infantry still more infantry how many infantry do I have? okay uh, this is, these are the combat divisions of the NKVD, which have infantry. Some, the, some of them have motorized infantry, NKVD artillery, uh, motorized support, and blah blah blah. Uh, yeah, again more. And these are the guards infantry units, which will be, I think, deployed in 1941. And even more guards units all historically existed divisions I have nine guards paratrooper divisions I have some tank divisions motorized divisions light infantry divisions cavalry divisions and these these are this will be the backbone of my army uh, of my shock armies these those here the guard ta guards tank armies shock armies and airborne army with these troops I will invade Eastern Europe and of course here I also have a bit of air force as you can see I have plenty of things to be produced and deployed and upgraded so it will be fun to uh, pri prioritize which units needs to be uh, produced at the moment and will need to be upgraded but of course as a general rule I will uh, produce first industries then I will switch to units and maybe if, if I have time I will also build fortifications so I think that this is enough for this introduction video. My cat is calling me so I have to go and see you all maybe next week. Bye bye.